Outlander's season 4 ending was supposed to be very different. Just like that, season 4 of Outlander is over and we're back to the worst time of every year, Droughtlander. The finale of the hit period drama saw Jamie, Claire and young Ian finally managed to track down and rescue Roger, who is devastated to hear that Brianna was attacked and is torn between returning to his own time or staying in the past and helping her raise her child. Eventually his love for Brie wins and one of the final scenes of the series sees them romantically reuniting as he promises to raise the baby as his son. However, the ending could have been very different. Used to like that, season 4 of Outlander is over and we're back to the worst time of every year, Droughtlander. The finale of the hit period drama saw Jamie, Claire and young Ian finally manage to track down and rescue Roger who is devastated to hear that Brianna was attacked and is torn between returning to his own time or staying in the past and helping her raise her child. Eventually his love for Brie wins, and one of the final scenes of the series sees them romantically reuniting as he promises to raise the baby as his son. However, the ending could have been very different. Tony continued that she didn't want fans to dislike Roger so eventually changed her mind, saying, We just thought. Droughtlander is already too long. We didn't want people to go for months and months wondering about Roger and thinking, God, is he really a jerk? Did he really not come back? So the pendulum kind of swung back and we decided we had to bring him back. Thematically, it all came together with this particular version of the story.